Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Big Mo, and today I will be reviewing this beautiful GMT Master II root beer. So in the GMT class, you have different several models um, that are extremely popular. So you have the Pepsi, you have the Sprite, you have the Batman, you have the Superman, and you also have the root beer. So for me, it's my favorite, personally, my favorite model, which is the GMT Master II, and I'll explain to you why. So basically, as all Rolex watches, they're tool watches, so it means it has specific functionality to you. So this is obviously a pilot watch. Um, it can tell up to three time zones. So this watch is 40 millimeters and has an oyster bracelet and is two-tone rose gold. Some features about the watch. So you have obviously the markers luminescent. So under a black light, you can see that. And as you can see, you have that beautiful hour hand, which is a Mercedes hand. And you also have the date. So what gives the name root beer? So it's basically the ceramic bezel. So half the ceramic bezel is black and then the other half is brown. The bezel also, if you see, and I get it, it's rose gold to match the two tone right here. So this watch has a closed clasp. And so you open it up like this. And unlike the Submariner, which has a glide lock, this one basically can extend half a link. Also, if you can see here, you have three pins. So basically you have one pin, you have one pin, second pin's in the middle one, and three. My opinion when sizing it, always have it in the middle and I also size the watch close. So when it comes to adjusting the bracelet, you have five links. We've already adjusted this for our clients. We have one, two, three, four, and we've removed one, so it's five links. So yeah, as mentioned, when sizing it, keep it closed. So I would just keep it like this closed and then sizing it. And then once you know it's too tight, you're able to unlock it and open it up. So that's for the bracelet. So now what we're gonna be discussing is how to set the time and the date. So basically in the watch, you have three different time zones and you have the date. So the first time zone is obviously the Mercedes hand. The second one is the arrow, which is right here, the long arrow. And then the third one is on the bezel. So in order to set it up, so you basically unscrew the watch, which I've already done. And now the first one, you're able to charge it. So on the GMT, you have two pulls. So the first pull, this is when this one, you're able to set the time and the date. So this one we'll be doing actually second. What we're gonna be setting up first is the travel time hand. So the, th the long hand. So basically I'm gonna keep on moving it until I hit 12. So as I can see now, everything's at 12, right? So then I push everything in. And like I said, there's only two pulls on the GMT. So when I pull again, so now I'm able to move the hour hand which is the Mercedes hand. So something very cool about the GMT is that you're able to go back into time and go back for the date. So example, like here, I can go into, I'll go after 12 and it's 16. If I want to go back, I could go back to 15. And, but right now we'll just set up the time. So let's just say it's the 16th. So now it's midnight, everything is set. So the first thing what we're going to do is now that everything is set, we're now going to set the travel time. So now that done, I've put everything at midnight, pull everything out. So not the first one, the first one moves only the hour hand. Now we're going to pull it all the way out and then now we're going to set the travel time. So let's say it is 2 p.m. So now that's set. Now what we're going to do is we put everything again. We push everything in and then now we're going to set the second time. So we're going to pull that out and we're just going to set the hour hand. So let's say now it's at six o'clock. So where you're in is six o'clock. So where you're traveling again, I'm not I don't know the exact travel times, but let's just say this is London and this is Dubai. So Dubai is 6 p.m. Uh, London is at 2 p.m. and then now that's it. So now I've set the time, it's the 16th in Dubai, and then now I know in London it's 2 p.m. So now I've set that all up, it's done, then I close it. Now you say, well, Mo, what about the third time? Well, the third time zone, we set it up like this. So then basically that's how it's set. So you have one time zone, two time zone, and three time zone, and that's it. So that's basically how to set up a GMT. So most, most people don't set it up, all three of them. Most of them just do like two. You just keep the bezel like this and that's set and done. So that's the Rolex GMT Master II. Um, one last thing I want to do is show the watch on my wrist. I have not measured my wrist yet, but this is how it looks like. This is really beautiful. When you put it on, it's honestly, it's something else. It's really stunning. And also if you're looking for the serial number when purchasing the watch, it's always at the six o'clock. As you can see where it says Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. If you keep on going down at the six o'clock, you'll be able to see the serial number. I always keep that private uh, and don't share with anyone. So here we go. Here's the wrist twist. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any other questions, please shoot me a message on Instagram or send me a WhatsApp message if you're looking for a watch or have any other questions.